there and welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Patrick, the BU Boss, and you are in the right place if you want to be a more efficient, effective, and aware leader. Here on this channel, that is what we are talking about. But if you want the theory, if you want the statistics and all of the data, then make sure you're also subscribed to my podcast, the CEO Mindset Podcast. It's a great place for you to start as well. I'll put all of that information down in the description box below. But for today, we are tackling the issue of really understanding your passion and your why, and then the reasons why you should know that, why those things are important. So if that sounds like something that you want to know more about, then definitely stick around and keep watching. Okay. So the answer to this question is you need to discover your style thread. Point blank, simple and plain. But Andrea, what is your style thread? What the heck is that? Well, I go into a lot more detail about your style thread over on my podcast, the CEO Mindset Podcast. I will link that episode in the description box below. But suffice it to say, your style thread is just like that beautiful, colorful piece of thread that runs through a Chanel suit. All my ladies out there know exactly what I'm talking about. Chanel suits are known for these beautifully constructed suits that have one thread of a single color, maybe a yellow or red or blue, but it's definitely one thread that goes through it and it's consistent. That is basically your style thread. It's you understanding yourself enough to know what your consistencies are. Now, for more details on that, like I said, hit that uh, podcast that's down in the description box below. But the very first thing you need to do if you want to tap into your passion and really understand your why and what you're coming to situations and projects with, what you're bringing to the table, your value, if you will, then definitely discover your style thread. Why is this important? Why do you need to know this? Well, because your style thread connects to your passion. And your passion, as you know, you've heard me say it over and over again if you've been on this channel for any period of time, your passion is that thing you can do with your eyes closed, your hands tied behind your back, out of a deep sleep, and you'd be willing to do it for free if you weren't trying to make money at it. That passion is really uncovered when you do the work to discover your style thread. The passion is what is going to fuel you and keep you motivated as you grow your business, as you continue to build your life, and as you build in your career as well. That is what keeps you motivated. So it would serve you right to go ahead and decide and determine what that passion really is and uncover it, if you will. You can't decide it because you do have it. And there's a way to figure it out. And I'll talk about all that over in the podcast. But your passion is what is going to help you along your journey to be the most efficient, effective, and aware leader you can possibly be. Why is this important though? Well, I've got a few reasons that I want to share with you. Number one is because you are able to comfortably, say it with me, comfortably stay in your lane. How hard is it sometimes when we start looking to the left and to the right at other people and what they're doing and how successful they are and we want that same level of success and it makes it very difficult for us to stay in our lane. We want to try what they're doing because we see success over there. But when you are stepping into your style thread and you really understand it and you know what your true why is and you are walking in your passion, you don't have to look to the left or the right. You're very confident in what you're bringing to the table and what you are trying trying to achieve and the way you are trying to achieve it so you can walk comfortably in your own lane, okay? So that is the first reason why you need to tap into your style thread and your passion and understand your why. The next thing is that you minimize comparison. Oh my gosh. When we are on our road, when we are in our lane, like I said, sometimes we look to the left or we look to the right and we try to understand how we can do it better, how we can get to that level, why what we're doing isn't working, but we see this person doing it or that person doing it, but it just isn't working for us. No longer are we going to be comparing ourselves to others, or at least that will be minimized. I'm getting a pull, so the noise. So if you can hear that, I apologize. I'm gonna keep on rolling. But the comparison is something that you just don't wanna do. And when you've tapped into your style thread, you know what your passion is and you know the journey that that passion is going to take to get to your purpose. Guess what? You can stay in your lane. And even though you may see what other people are doing and they might be going at a faster pace than you, you can recognize it for what it is, look at their journey. And when you finally do and do the comparison, you'll realize that those are not apples to apples. 
they're apples to oranges or apples to bananas even. But the point is that you won't be using that comparison to make you feel bad. You won't feel less than or anything like that because you are on your own path and you are staying in your lane. So when you understand your style thread and you're walking in your passion, then you will minimize the need for comparison. This allows you to stay focused and be much more intentional in what it is you are actually doing. Now, the last thing that understanding your style thread and your why could help fuel is that you don't have a need to be validated quite as much. I mean, who doesn't love a good pat on the back? I know I do. I love for my husband to tell me that he's proud of me. As a matter of fact, I do ask sometimes, are you proud of me, honey? Especially when a big job comes in. But I do ask that, but I don't need it. It's great to have. He's not as vocal as I want him to be. So sometimes I do have to ask, but I do get kudos from other places, but they aren't necessary because I know I'm walking in my passion and I know my time will come. I know that I will finally see the success that I have been looking for when I'm on a certain path to achieve a certain goal because I'm staying in my lane. I'm not comparing my journey to anyone else's journey because it's my journey. It's my path that I'm following. And so I can look at the direction that I'm going in and I do not have to feel like I need those pats on the back quite so much. So if you want to feel more confident and feel more certain about what you're doing in your business, in your life, or in your career, find your style thread. Understand yourself well enough to know what that consistent thing is in your life that you can count on, that's going to be there, that you can build your passion on. Find that for yourself and then you will find much more success. You will stop comparing yourself to other people and you won't need as much foundation. So I hope that helped you today. I really want you to look at the description box below and listen to that podcast on how to take all of those many talents and skills that you might have and make them into a profitable brand. That's what that podcast is about. And I'm teaching you how to discover your style thread over there in that podcast. So definitely make sure that you are going to click on that and go listen to that podcast because it'll definitely help you understand what I'm talking about here on this video. I hope you have a fantastic week. If you have not already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well. That's where all the behind the scenes are happening, my day to day, how I'm using these skills and these tips in my own life to navigate my life and live my best life and grow my business. So you'll see it in real time. Also, if you are on Clubhouse, follow me on Clubhouse, AF Patrick as well. That's where you'll find me. And I actually have a club that this fall I'll be getting a lot more involved in. But if you have any conversations that you want to have, if there's anything that you want to learn about or anything for us to discuss in the clubhouse let me know you can leave a comment below and I would love to hear from you and I'll make that happen and then lastly well not lastly because I have an amazing free guide if you've not gotten this guide yet what are you waiting on? It is fantastic. My BU guide, if you are growing a business, I am teaching you how to leverage your personal brand very easily using this free guide. And I also give you a bonus in the back that really helps you manage your expectations on digital marketing. So make sure you get it. It's absolutely free. And the very last thing I'll tell you about is my BU boss squad. A lot of what I'm talking about, the style thread, the circumstances for optimal success, your passion taking its journey towards its purpose. All of these terms are explained in inside the BU Boss Squad. And if you are a member right now, I'm running a special. So if you join right now, if you apply right now, I am running a special. So go ahead and apply and join our BU Boss Squad because accountability and support happens there. I hope you have a great week and don't forget, hit that subscription bell, hit that subscription box and also hit the notification bell and join me back here again next week. Thanks for watching.